Hello everybody, what's up, and welcome to the channel where we learn to be true heroes in the game of Overwatch, and today I had just the absolutely best, most original, creative idea ever, and that was an idea for a map guide series on this channel, where I just went through each map and talked about where you should be, and uh, just basic stuff like that, and that'd be, what, 13 videos? Yeah, there's 13 maps in Overwatch, so I would get all the views and be the richest man in the world, but I decided not to because I actually value... Uh, your guys' time, and I mean, <laughs> come come on. So this is the map guide guide, the one guide to rule them all. Basically, you, after you watch this video, can take any map and applying a few simple rules can uh, figure it out for yourself. So just one video for all 13 maps and pretty much all maps in the future is not a real bargain. So without further ado, let's get into the most exciting, interesting, and original topic in the entire game, King's Row. We'll just use this as, an, as our first example because most people are pretty familiar with this. I've done videos on it before and uh, most people know where to stand. So basically every map can be, uh, we're talking about defenders by the way, defenders in this video. So every map can, you can draw a line somewhere and that is like the line for the map. So let's say we drew a line here, you can say, oh, well all the defenders can stand behind here and that would be a pretty okay place. I mean, I, I'm not saying that's the correct one. You can draw a line here, you can even draw a line up here, go ahead and swan camp them. Basically the defenders are going to be standing behind a certain position and unless you're a flanker like let's say we draw this is the actual line let's say we draw a line something like that unless you're a flanker if you go beyond this line as a defender you're basically out of position and you're in big trouble the first step is to identify the entrances that the opponent can take to get into the point so on king's row our primary entrances are these two right here cinema and just the regular street however these extend because we can come up here with cover. These extend up to here, to this one, and uh, this this one basically. So there's three secondary entrances. So the next step is to find a spot where you can stand and see all of the entrances. In this case, we'll just check out the primary entrances first and see what those do for us. So in this case, if we stand here, we can pretty clearly see this one and this one. So this would be a good spot. This this would be a spot that fits my criteria. So now you go do 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 do, and you draw a parallel line with the top and bottom of the screen, and now you have a line. The next step is to make sure you can't be shot from their spawn, and in this case you definitely can be, because if you stand here, then the widow or Hans or something can shoot at you. Now this is a completely unsustainable position because obviously you can't fight people who are in spawn. So we have to back up to at least around here. Now is there a spot here where we can see all three entrances? Oh, well, yep, there is. It's literally right here. We can see this one. These are the secondary entrances. We can see this one, we can see this one, and we can see people uh, going over here as well. So if we try it again, get as close as possible without actually peeking the spawn, Look at everything, come down, come up, and if we draw a line like this, then that's the line. Now you can confidently say that this is a good spot for the defender to stand, as long as they're looking in the proper direction, obviously. So from this you can say that unless you're some sort of flanky sneakster, uh, if you're beyond this line, you are out of position. So yeah, that was a cool trick, but does it work for the rest of the map? Now, for for control point maps, you have to make sure that this line somehow includes the point, which is right here, because obviously, I mean, you could stand like back here, and this would see everything, but the problem is all they would have to do is just stand at the point, and now it's pointless because you have to jump down anyway. So you your team has to have some sort of presence on the point for a control point. And for this part, the payload part, you basically want to find a line that is a good line as far down along the path as possible. So, uh, so let's start here. Well, this is all shootable from their spawn, pretty much. So we have to back up. Now, this is the first place we can ideally hold. Let's check it out. So let's go through the steps. The first one is to identify all of the entrances. Now the first entrance to this area of the map is there, quite obvious. Next we have this one right here, which extends into a secondary entrance over here. And it keeps going around, but then it starts to get quite long. And uh, obviously one in the window. And then we have this sneaky one back here. So quite a few different entrances to this area of the map. So now let's find a point to stand where we can see all of the entrances. Well, if we stand up close like this, then that, they can attack you from spawn, so that's no good. If we stand like this, then we can just see this one entrance. 
if we look like this, then we can actually see quite a few entrances, but it still gets a little dangerous because someone can sneak around like there to that secondary entrance. Plus you have this one back entrance here that it's just completely not visible. So we have to keep going back. And here, here's pretty good because yeah, we can't see this entrance, but remember it comes out here. So we can see this entrance, we can see the main entrance, we can see that window up there. And if we just uh, tilt our head a little bit, we can see that one as well. So in this case, the line would be something like, well, if we position ourselves like this, so we can see everything, look down, look up, the line goes something like that. Here it is from a different perspective. And so you can be fairly confident that if you stand here, and no further that you will be 100% safe. Now, this line is not 100% steadfast because remember, you can stand here and see everything too with just a quick little boop and you can peek up there. So in this particular case, standing like this is not terrible either because you can still have one support or something sitting back here and checking that out just fine. Now, this shouldn't really be any special information because King's Row is a pretty well gone over map. I'm just using this as an example for the step-by-step -step process to figure out where to draw the line. So we already drew a line approximately here. Now let's find the next area of the map where we can draw a line. So let's try, let's try here. So if we're up here, we have to again identify the entrances. We have this entrance, we have this entrance, and we have this entrance. So if you're standing here, you can either see these two or those two. So this is too close up. Let's try backing up. Well, again, you can't, still can't see all three, so we have to back up some more. And now we can finally see all three entrances just fine. And we want to be as close as possible, remember. So yeah, somewhere, somewhere around here. Now if we look down, we climb up, we draw the line. And you'll find that the only safe place you can be in this next part of the map, if from a different perspective, is about here standing in the entrance to the railroad or whatever this is. And if you watch many pro matches, you'll find that these lines tend to be the ones that the pros follow themselves. They should look very familiar if you've seen a lot of competitive Overwatch. So let's just quickly finish up King's Row and then we will move on to a couple other maps and then you'll be able to do any map. So it doesn't really matter. So let's find the next place. Remember the entrances. Well, there's this entrance and there's this one over here. That sneaky entrance gets a lot of people all the time, even in pro matches, that one. So if we stand up here, we start to be kind of shootable from their spawn, so that's too close. We pretty much have to keep backing up until we can see all the entrances like right now. So this one finally comes into view. So if we look up, ba -da, well, you know the drill, we get that line and look. Again, it's a line you see that pro players use a lot when they're defending. But for those of you who are still watching, who haven't clicked off because you thought all of this was obvious, there's a plot twist. A position you don't see many p teams taking is something like this. Now, you can't really stand over here because you have a terrible pit of death standing beneath you. But what if you stood like over here? You can see all the entrances pretty clearly. You even have this little bit of cover so you don't just get absolutely annihilated from you know, people peeking from their spawn and stuff. You can stand over here and you can see all the entrances. So if we were to uh, maybe draw a line here, you would get something like this. So teams could actually sort of defend in that corner over there and it wouldn't be too bad. Now the issue with that, why a lot of teams prefer over there, this one's closer. So it's actually quite strong. The issue being if the other team is running a lot of AOE, a lot of crazy stuff, it's a little bit confined as opposed to this open space over here. So this is a safer area. This is a more aggressive area, but equally good if teams were to try it out against certain comps. And then we go back here, we have, what do we have? We have an entrance, we have an entrance, we have an entrance. So the place to see it all is like here. So you draw a line and there you go. That's King's Row in a nutshell defending at every stage of the map. So we're gonna do one more map and then you can just take this uh, this logic and apply it to any scenario you want in this game. Now, we're on Temple of Anubis, a map that a lot of people have sort of conceptual issues with and it has just this one main choke point. So you can, I mean, you don't wanna to be too close because now you can start to get shot from spawn area with the ramps below. So a lot of teams choose to stand up here which is perfectly fine because you can see that one singular entrance. And of course, if you draw the line here, you get, yeah, 
it's obvious. But the issues come in because it's so easy to kind of infiltrate into here. The issues come in when teams start getting to the secondary entrances and staying here because if we hold this line like that, we come back and extend it out a little bit further, we can see that it does not include this entrance or that entrance or that entrance either, or even by extension, this back entrance. So once the opponent, once the other team has broken through here, you can't stay up here. You have to redraw your line to something a little bit more reasonable. So as we drop off, this is too close because we still can't see up there. We can't even see the entrance to there. We can't see this back area, that back flanking area. But if we, uh, if we put our backs against the wall here, now suddenly the back flanking area doesn't matter, we can look up here and suddenly oh, all we can see all the entrances. There's one, there's two, there's three people coming through here. So we can see all the possible entrances. And if we draw a line, it looks something a little bit like this. So once the attackers have sort of penetrated into these secondary entrances over here, really the defending team has to be controlling this building and the sides here in this building. All right, one more example. And then I think we'll call it a video. So for this next area, a very popular thing for teams to do is to just stand right here and well, let's identify the entrances. So we have this entrance over here. You can hop over, you can hop around. So there's one. Obviously that's a very obvious one over there. And um, the last one is pretty much this entire area. So if we get a nice bird's eye view here, we have this entrance and this entrance and this entrance. So how can we see them all? Well, if we stand here, we can't because we can either be looking this way or we can be looking this way. So here is not very good. If we stood here, then we can look out, but we'd have to be playing pretty far back in order to actually look at that entrance as well. So we'd have to be standing like way, 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 way back here. Because if you stand up actually on the point, because remember, if we draw a line here, the point is over here, which would force you out, which would mean you can get flanked again. On control point maps, the line must encapsulate, not necessarily be drawn through, but somehow encapsulate the point. So like if we drew a line here, for example, arbitrarily, and then filled it in, if you remember your high school graphing classes, you know, your TI graphing calculator doing mins and stuff. So if we fill it in, well, the point is included in that, so that's okay. But if we have this line here, well, the point is not included in this, so that's not okay. So let's try maybe this angle. Oh, well, that looks pretty good because we can see this entrance clearly, this one clearly, and this one clearly. And if we draw a line like here, then we still have this little slice of the point to work with. So on the last point of Temple of Anubis, if we were to draw that line, something like that would be a really good place for the defenders to hold in anywhere. Beyond that is more dangerous and prone to getting flanked. So anyway, guys, that's my secret sauce to finding out general positioning for defense in any map in Overwatch. So instead of watching 13 how to defend this map videos, you can just watch this one and go on your merry way. I'll have to make one for offense too because, well, it's this very similar process. It is a different way of looking at it. Now, obviously, every map has its own little nuances and tricks and small hero pool variations and stuff like that. But just your broad general positioning is 90% of playing a map correctly. So next time you're in solo queue, next time you're watching a pro match, uh, think of the game in terms of these lines. And I think that you'll have a lot easier time knowing where to stand. There will be no video tomorrow because I will be trying out my live stream. If you like the type of content on this channel, I'm sure you'll like that because we'll be doing kind of the same thing. VOD reviews, uh, looking at tournament matches, all that sort of stuff. But I'm really excited to interact with you guys directly and take questions with the chat and stuff like that. It should, it, should, it should be awesome. And we can go a little bit slower than the pace I go at in these videos as well, explaining in a little bit more depth. So be there or be you know, somewhere else, hopefully, having a good time. But anyway, I hope to see a bunch of you tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something out of it. Maybe even had a little bit of fun. So stay positive and have a great day. Peace out, guys.